Next, let's have a look at the programming problems. Difficulty with the drive operation can be a result of improper programming of the drive parameters. Three areas where programming errors may affect the drive and motor operation are motor settings, references and limits, and input-output configuration. The drives must be set up correctly for the motors connected to it. Parameters 1 to 20 to 1 to 25 must have the motor nameplate entered into the drive. This enables the drive processor to match the drive to the power characteristics of the motor. The most common results of an accurate motor data is the motor drawing higher than normal amount of currents to perform the task expected of it. In such a case, setting the correct values to the parameters and performing the automatic motor adaptation AMA will solve the problem. The AMA is run by activating parameter 1 to 29. It is always recommended to run the AMA. Any references or limits set incorrectly will result in less than acceptable drive performance. Next, let's have a look at the motor load problems. Problem with the motor, motor wiring, or mechanical load on the motor can develop in a number of ways. The motor or motor wiring can develop a phase to phase or phase to ground short, resulting in alarm indication and a trip of the unit. A motor with the unbalance or non-symmetrical impedances on all the three phases can result in uneven or rough operation or unbalanced output current. To determine whether the problem is internal or external to the drive, disconnect the motor from the drive output terminals. Perform the dynamic output test procedure on all three phases with an digital voltmeter. If the three voltage measurements are balanced, the drive is functioning correctly. The problem is therefore external to the drive. If the voltage measurements are not balanced, the drive is malfunctioning. This typically means that one or more output, IGBT, is not switching on and off correctly. If one of the IGBT fails, exchange the power card set in B1 and the power card in the B2 units. Now we shall see the various faults in the drive. The most common faults in the drive are over temperature fault, current sensor fault. In the event that an over temperature indication is displayed, you have to determine whether this condition actually exists within the drive or whether the thermal sensor is defective. This can be easily detected by feeling the outside of the unit if the over temperature condition is still present. If the drive is stopped and cooled, the LCP reading shall show the ambient temperature. If not, the temperature sensor or temperature measurement circuit is defect. The other fault in the drive is the current sensor fault. When the current sensor fails, it is indicated sometimes by an earth fault alarm that cannot be reset even with the motor leads disconnected. The simplest method of determining whether a current sensor is defective is to disconnect the motor from the drive, then observe the current in the display of the drive. With the motor disconnected, current should be zero. If the motor is disconnected from the unit, the LCP shall read out 0.00 ohms. If anything else is shown, this indicate a defective current sensor. In the situation of a defect current transducer, the LCP will show either an earth fault or a current of a given level when the hand on button on the LCP is activated. In this case, the power card set has to be exchanged in the B1 units and in B2, the SMPS card shall be exchanged. Electromagnetic compliance or EMC are the voltage and current which are not sinusoidal but pulsating. Electromagnetic compatibility, EMC, concerns for typical commercial and industrial equipment. 
Let's now see the effects and sources of EMI, electromagnetic interference. EMI-related disturbances to drive operation are uncommon, but the following detrimental EMI effects may be seen. Motor speed fluctuations. Serial communication transmission errors. Drive CPU exception faults. Unexplained drive trips. Detrimental effects to these systems may include the following. Pressure, flow, temperature signal, transmitter signal distortion, or aberrant behavior. Radio and TV interference. Telephone interference. Computer network data loss. Digital control system, faults. Modern adjustable frequency drives. Utilize insulated gate bipolar transistors, IGBTs to provide an efficient and cost-effective means to create the pulse width modulated PWM output waveform necessary for accurate motor control. These devices rapidly switch the fixed DC bus voltage, creating a variable frequency variable voltage PWM waveform. This high rate of voltage change DV by DT is the primary source of the drive generated EMI. This ends our stay in motor and drives application. Now, let's go in for a quick check of your understanding before we conclude. That's correct. Parameters 1 to 0, 0 and 1 to 3 sets the mode in which the drive will operate. That's correct. The over voltage trip on a 400 volts FC302 with brake occurs when the DC bus voltage reaches a level of 855 volt DC. That's correct. The presence of correct reading indicates that the desired signal. With this we have come to the end of this module. I hope you would have got a clearer understanding on the drives and motor application like torque limit, current limit and unstable motor operation. The various trips in the drive. Common drives and motor problems. Faults in drive. Drives electromagnetic compatibility.